it off on the near side for Shatan. Miro Shatan handles the puck with patience. Now lets it go. He scores! Up high on Roberto Luongo, who was being bothered by Parrish. It looks like Shatan's goal all the way. And it comes with just seven seconds left in the Van Ryan penalty. 1-1 our score. You'll see Shatan had a little too much room to move in. The Panthers at this time, if there's any kind of a breakdown, it's the fact that nobody went to Shatan and forced him to his backhand. And he gets there a little late. You saw where Gratton came in with the stick. You've got a goal scorer like Shatan. Listen, he has six power play goals, or now seven. Right. And uh, he is their leading scorer. And the Florida Panthers, as you can see, formed the line and lent. Bates has been pretty hot of late. Here's a shot through traffic. He scores! John Bates! who had scored five goals in a three-game span before going pointless in Tampa the other night, gets back on a roll and has given the Islanders the lead. Well, you take a look at the shot, and it comes from an unlikely situation, and certainly comes at a time where I don't think Roberto is waiting for the shot, but the play is right here. Take a look at Hunter, who goes to the front of the net. Roberto, I didn't see it at all. I mean, he's sort of looking back. There's Hunter again, number seven. The puck will go right. See, he almost has to move out. Now Asher rolls it back. Yashin behind the net, wraparound was stopped by Luongo. Back to the line, held in a bouncing puck, just in wide of the Panthers. That picked up, score! Kavasha with the long reach. And even from that angle, was able to snap it by Roberto Luongo and the Islanders with a 3-1 lead. Well, a tough goal for the Florida Panthers, but again, you talk about how the game has changed and the new rules. This doesn't happen years ago. But watch, as the puck misses the net, it comes right back out, still in a position where somebody can get to it. If you have the net that is back 13 feet, that puck is buried back there. So what you've seen, in my opinion, is a great uh, a great example of what more of those kind of plays. Here comes Blake cutting in, hands it across, they score! Bates able to knock it home. It is now a 4-1 lead for the New York Islanders. Well, the third period certainly has not been friendly to the Florida Panthers the last couple of games. And the Islanders, who have had such good success on this road trip, as we said, winning two, losing one, and a four-game road trip. This is the last game of the trip. They go back home after this for a couple of games. They have smelt the blood, and now they're just cooking. Heads up play by Jason Blake. Blank. Face off win Islander, Campoli, one-timer scores! Right up in the top corner, whether that was deflected, we'll have to wait and see. Well, the Islanders have made it five to one. Well, one argument about the Islander power play is that uh, maybe their defense don't get very involved so far this year. Only one defenseman, Zitnik, has a goal on the power play, and this is the second one. I think you're right. I think that went off of It may have Harris. hit, hit yeah. Parrish in the backside, yeah. In the pants. I think it hit Parrish right there, yep. I think right there it hit Mike. Hagman a shot, save, rebound, chance for Bullmister went over top of the net, and Jokinen put in uh, on top of the goaltender, Di Pietro, but they separate quickly. And the Islanders will win three out of four on this road trip. And the Panthers' winless streak goes to 11. And our Nissan player of the game